in three, two, one, fight. Killjoy coming in to save the day. Here's Speed Wedge 1. Not so speedy. Unfortunately, looks like it's having some trouble driving. Has had a little issues in the first round here. As Killjoy gets underneath the Speed Wedge, lifting it up. Not able, unfortunately, to get it out the side, but slowly making its way over, trying to get control. Sure enough, gets underneath, pushes against the wall, but ramps over top. Now against the wall, trying for another shot here. Does get under towards the red push out. Very close, but Isaiah managed to get Speed Wedge 1 completely over the top of Killjoy. And back into the arena. Killjoy bouncing off the red hazard. Just tries to make a way around. The fork on Speed Wedge 1 wedged between the wheel and the bot as they're pirouetting around over the side here, but manages to get over. Killjoy coming in again, but bouncing into the red hazard, having a little bit of trouble there. Speed Wedge trying to push, but seems to be spinning quite heavily. I don't think there's a whole lot of like magnet downforce or anything like that. And I can see some huge magnets on the bottom of the Killjoy. So a pushing match is going to be very difficult for Speed Wedge because Killjoy is going to have more downforce, which means more pushing ability. Minute 50 to go. Killjoy getting under Speed Wedge 1, pushing it into the corner, pinning it there. Can hold for up to 10 seconds, but doesn't. Backs it up into the red hazard a couple of times. Again towards the wall, getting very close to the blue push out. Up, pinned up against the wall, holding it there. Letting it go. There we go. Speed Wedge trying to get around again. Killjoy bounces it into the red hazard. Just catches it. And now Speed Wedge is upside down. Controls are half reversed. This is a very compromising position. It's, but it's driving even better now that it's upside down. Go figure. Minute and 20 still on the clock. Both competitors have a good opportunity here. Is actually, Speed Wedge almost manages to get Killjoy over to the blue push out. I think Isaiah is figuring out this upside down driving very quickly. He has shown himself to be a good driver in previous events. Holding uh, Killjoy, holding Speed Wedge up against the corner. Minute on the clock. Dale coming around with Killjoy, trying to line up for another hit as Speed Wedge makes its way out. Tries for another rush, but just barely misses. Can be difficult with these bots, especially because when you hit forward, they tend to not go quite forward. Ramping over the top of Killjoy. And again into the front, but over. Getting hung up on one of the wheels. Backing towards the blue, that was close. Figures it out, comes back against Killjoy again. And now forks in opposite directions, pinning around top and bottom of, Kill, of Killjoy. But Killjoy the better pusher, unfortunately, with 30 seconds on the clock. Trying for another push. All it's going to take is one good clean hit here to push either competitor out the side. So always time left with 20 seconds still to go. Good hard hit into the red hazard there by Killjoy. 15 seconds still. Almost gets another push, but narrowly comes off against the wall. 10 seconds. Backs it into the red hazard. Very nice. Five, four, three, two, one, and that's the end. Let's hear it for both Isaiah and Dale. Both did very well there. Now it's going to go to a uh, judge's decision, but it is unanimous. The win will go to Killjoy. Congratulations, Dale.